Moments before police opened fire on students in Papua New Guinea's capital yesterday. You don't know what is going on in this country. We are fighting on... New video shows protesters and police faced off. Tear gas is prepared. Yes, yes, yes. Then the shooting starts. One journalist carries on reporting. There is currently a shootout happening at the UPNG. As you can see, students have attacked police. The police are now retaliating by entering the boys' dormitory and shooting out into the dormitory. At least 23 students were injured, including one shot in the head. Uproar in Parliament over blood in the streets of Moresby. Two authorised armed policemen to shoot at unarmed students. You shut them out! Is that a reputation of police? Shut up! Peter O'Neill remains defiant, despite calls to quit over a police investigation into corruption allegations. Uh, Mr Speaker, stepping down for what? For what? An inquiry will investigate the shootings, Amnesty International calling them a disgrace. Now, the government has suspended parliament for almost two months. By suspending the parliament, just frees them uh, from the bed and even thinking about it. Um, there is no legitimate forum now for these students. Australia is PNG's biggest aid donor. Prime Minister Turnbull spoke to Prime Minister O'Neill last evening and offered a support if the government needed it, but that um, offer was not taken up. Airlines have resumed flights to PNG after being cancelled yesterday. Moresby is tense, with reports of shooting in the streets, and PNG's National Court has ordered the students to return to classes. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.